my name is Krista Riggins and today we will be doing an experiment on chiral resolution of phenylsicinic acid. We will be resolving or separating phenylsicinic acid into its optically active enantiomers. We will also be determining the efficiency of the resolution by obtaining the specific rotation. Alright, so first we're going to add one gram of racemic phenylsicinic acid. So here it is. Again, we're going to add about one gram. I already have my weight belt on the scale and it's already teared. Alright, so our final mass is 1.033 grams of our phenylsicinic acid. Alright, next we're going to add around 600 milligrams or 0.6 grams of our L-proline. Alright, so our final mass on that is 0 0.608 grams of, again, of our L-proline. So we've added our phenylsicinic acid and our L-proline to our round bottom flask. Next, we're going to add 40 mils of isopropanol to the round bottom flask. And then we're going to add a stir bar and set up a reflux. Alright, so we have our phenylsicinic acid, our L-proline, and our isopropanol, and a stir bar, and our 100 ml graduated, or I'm sorry, our 100 ml round bottom flask. Um, we have a sand bath here on top of our hot plate. We are then going to put a condenser, and we're just going to gently reflux the mixture. Um, we're also going to add a thermometer to the sand bath. You don't want it to reach over 200 degrees Celsius, so just monitor it. Um, you're going to do this for about 15 minutes. While we are refluxing, we can go ahead and set up our vacuum filtration. So you need a filter flask, a Bushner funnel, and adapter, and a red vacuum hose. And you just hook it up to the vacuum nozzle, and we're ready. And of course, our filter paper. Filter paper. Um, make sure you use the correct size um, and then you're ready for your vacuum filtration. Now that we've refluxed for 15 minutes, we're going to go ahead and take it off the heat and let it cool, um, just air cool um, until it's room temp. 
Alright, our solution has cooled to room temp. So now we're going to put it and filter it through our vacuum filtration that we set up. So we're going to turn on the vacuum. Right, we're gonna use some acetone to help rinse the flask. We're gonna do, we're gonna use 20 mils of acetone and we're gonna do this three times. Uh, remember that when you are rinsing off in the flask and rinsing off your round bottom flask and then pouring it into your Bushner funnel and you're adding the acetone to the Bushner funnel, to turn off the vacuum because you want the acetone to soak into your, uh, filtering right here okay so remember to turn off the vacuum when you're adding the acetone so rinse the flask poured in our 20 mils of acetone as you can see I have the vacuum turned off I'm gonna let it sit and soak now we're gonna turn the vacuum on all right and we're gonna do that three more times or two more times three times total all right so we've Rinsed and washed with acetone, with 20 mils of acetone three times. We're gonna let this sit and dry. Um, if you have a considerable amount of filtrate or, or um, solid in in your flask here, just refilter it. Um, this isn't bad, so I'm just gonna leave it. But if you have like, if this is super white, um, definitely refilter it. But that looks pretty pretty good. So again, we're just gonna let this dry and then we are going to weigh it. All right, now that our solid is completely dry, we're gonna weigh it out. I already have teared our weigh boat. So we're just gonna kinda scrape it, scrape it in here. So we have a total mass of 0.618 grams. Here we have our 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. We're going to transfer our solid into this. Notice I added a stir bar because um, we're going to be mixing this with 25 mils of 3 molar hydrochloric acid. So mixing it with this. Um, just be extremely careful because this the HCL is uh, very corrosive. So we're gonna add our solid. So now we're gonna get our 25 mils. We're just gonna add a little bit. I'm just gonna. So we're doing this to hydrolyze the salt. All right, just a minute. Add a little bit, and we're gonna let this um, stir for about 15 minutes. Um, I'm gonna use a glass pipette to just occasionally kind of rinse the sides of the flask. Um, you'll wanna use a glass pipette. So one of these. Glass pipette. Um, put a little bulb on it. Again, we're gonna rinse the flask and we're gonna do this for about 15 minutes. After this, we're gonna collect the solid again by vacuum filtration. All right, our solution has been stirring for 15 minutes. So now we're gonna use vacuum filtration to get the solid. Um, so we have that set up here. Got my filter paper and our Bushner funnel. We're gonna use water, around 20 mils of water to wash the solid. And you're gonna do that three times. So let's go ahead and turn on. 
20 mils of water to wash. Remember, we want to turn the vacuum off when we add our 20 mils, just like we did with our other, with our um, acetone that we washed the first product with. So add around 20 mils. Turn on the vacuum. And we're going to do that two more times. We're just gonna let that dry. Um, once it is dried, we're gonna record the mass. Then after that, you'll um, take the specific rotation using the polarimeter. So now we're gonna weigh our S phenyl succinic acid that's been drying. Looks like we got 0.032 grams. All right, so we're gonna take this and obtain a specific rotation. To obtain a specific rotation, use a medium vial to dissolve around 40 milligrams of the solid and one mil of acetone. Since we only collected 32 milligrams, um, here's the math to show you that we need around 0.8 mils. All right, so we've turned the polarimeter on. We got our syringe with our solution in it. We're gonna put it in the polarimeter. All right, and then we're gonna hit start. So our product had a specific rotation of 134.